So our minds can be our best friends or our worst enemies. And lately my mind has been trying to play a lot of fucked up tricks on me. You see, for the last several weeks, I've been experiencing the worst night sweats of my life. We're talking waking up soaked, taking a shower, changing clothes, putting blankets over the bed, waking up soaked, changing clothes, moving to a different bed. And it's all coming from someone who at one point in my life was convinced that I needed a minimum of nine hours of sleep to function. And parts of me, you know, waking up in the morning feeling not super rested, had been wanting to panic and catastrophize. You see, I haven't experienced this since I was experiencing wasting from AIDS and my mind is in many ways trying to tell me that my health is declining, that everything is bad, that I need to panic and feel really fucking sorry for myself. And the interesting thing is when I'm really honest with myself and really tune into how I'm feeling, and guys, don't get me wrong, I've made a doctor's appointment, I'm getting it checked out, but the truth is I'm stronger and feeling healthier than I ever have in my whole life. I feel so powerful. And I was thinking about this morning when I woke up, I really had the choice to, to really lay in bed and feel sorry for myself. Parts of me wants to cry. Parts of me wants to reach out for sympathy and complain. Parts of me, the parts of me that are dying, um, that's kind of a technical term. The parts of me that I'm outgrowing, the parts of me that no longer serve me, want me to really crumble right now. And you see, our minds are so fucking powerful. I could make myself feel physically worse if I really focused on the negative, if I really focused on the lack of sleep that I've been getting over the last few weeks, if I've been focusing on, you know, poor me, I have to, you know, wake up and change the sheets, I have to wake up and change my clothes, I have to wake up and shower. And if I really let myself go there, I could really physically harm myself and my body and my mind by letting myself catastrophize. But I know better and I'm choosing differently. And that's what I wanna to speak to because I see this happen so often. It's so easy and I know not everyone is experiencing night sweats, but we can all experience this in our own way. You see the, the brilliant Tony Robbins once said and says often, where focus goes, energy flows. And if I'm focusing on all the things that are going wrong in my life, if I'm focusing on all the things that aren't ideal, if I'm focusing on all the circumstances where things are hard or scary or unpredictable, then I could really let myself spiral down to, you know, dumpster fire energy of panic mode and freaking the fuck out. But I'm so much more than my body and I'm so much more than an AIDS survivor. I'm a fucking human thriver. And, and that's the kind of thing that I get to focus on. And that's what I'm choosing. And that's what I wanted to come on and share with you guys today. Because we always have the choice. We always have the power to decide what we put our energy on. And I could let myself have the shittiest fucking day today and play that fucked up pity party game. Or I can focus on how great I feel. And even after not getting a full night's sleep, you know, I decided to go to an early morning yoga class where I feel connected with my body, connected with my soul, and feeling so strong and so empowered. And that's what I'm choosing to focus on, and that's who I'm choosing to be. I'm gonna have an amazing day, despite not getting, you know, seven, eight, or nine hours of sleep, and really choose what I wanna see, and choose what I wanna focus on, because we do create our realities, and I'm gonna have an amazing day. And that's what I wanted to share with you all today. You also have that choice. No matter what might be going wrong in your world, no matter what might feel challenging, 
no matter what might feel difficult, you get to focus on the problems or you get to focus on solutions. What will you decide? Bye for now.